Right then, muckers. Um, I'll just take a bit of a break while we're filming the second part of this uh, Perkins engine rebuild. Um, and I thought I'd take the time to welcome along the new subscribers. And we've got quite a few in the last few weeks, so uh, glad to have you aboard. And um, I know it's a bit like starting school halfway through a term, um, you know, but like I said, if you want to catch up, see where we, did, where we are and what we've been doing, um, there's all my old videos still there, and I'll put them in playlists to make it a bit easier. So there's like the Will It Starts and uh, the Crawlers and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, feel free to have a look at them. Let's give her a squirt and just see what happens. you now the channel itself is about the stuff I get up to day to day and uh, you know I'd be doing it whether I film it or not uh, but people have asked if I would so the stuff I can I do and um, the good thing for me is the followers I've got have got uh, just an absolute uh, wealth of experience and knowledge uh, from uh, stuff they've done over the years and they've learned or researched so that's really good so as, as I said there's some fantastic people on here you can learn a lot from I certainly do now like everything else in life uh, you'll always get a bit of dross float by and uh, we're quite lucky here because people know we don't put any nonsense uh, this is sort of an old-fashioned common-sense approach to stuff as I said what the hell is the world coming to but you always get one or two that want to try and make a name for themselves Normally that name is something like a wank gannet because uh, they try and pass off their bullshit as fact. That ain't gonna happen here because people just see that stands out a mile. Um, but then there's then, you know, this modern culture where people say, no, but yeah, you have to take on their views as well, you know, it's, uh, you can't offend them and uh, their opinion is just as valid as yours. No, it's not. Not when you're dealing with people that, as I said, they've got years of experience or done years of research. You know, just because someone turns around and they're, you know, can huffed a bag of dog shit over the head and got high on the fumes or read something this evening on Facebook. Oh yeah, you know, the, the Cummins is the best engine ever. Right? Based on what? Well, you know, it just is. What, what are you running a Cummins? Well, I'm not. What, have you driven a Cummins? Well, I haven't. Fuck off then. You know, the Cummins is a good engine. <laughs> but... Like I said, you can't just come up with stupid things and then try and tell everybody that they're wrong and you're right if you've got absolutely no fucking basis whatsoever. You know, and if it offends you, tough. The other thing is, uh, you get people sort of say, oh, you should listen to criticism. No, you shouldn't. I was once told by a very wise man never to listen to criticism because critics have got a call to offer. Uh, they're, you know, they're part of the problem, not the solution. They want to tell you how you're doing it wrong to just instill that they're right. And it's just absolutely, that's like sort of saying, well, but there is constructive criticism. That's like saying there's a friendly rapist. So the people you want to listen to are the people that offer you help and advice and support because they're the ones that'll get you through stuff and they're the ones you'll learn from. So the critics. So anyway, welcome to the new subscribers. I hope you, uh, you enjoy it and I hope you join in and uh, you know, as I said, we'll all have a good time. But uh, if there are one or two out there that still think that that's their right to say what they want on my channel, then, uh, you know, you might as well fuck off now because you're nothing but a total and utter cunt. Constable himself was surprised when he created the Haywain. He said it had a much more novel look than he'd expected. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, the works of John Constable, one of England's foremost landscape artists. And now from one artist to an artist of, of another kind, we're going to have a look at the Fud Weasel's uh, Perkins 4236 rebuild and see how he's getting on with that. Oh wait, we all done, yeah. I don't know why people want to see it. The guy's a complete an idiot. It's like he's been dropped on his head as a child. Is it, what? So since last time you've got the crank all in. Yeah. And uh, camshaft. But you got the line. We pressed the uh, liners in last time. Slipped them in, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, which we did on a previous video. Let's give this one a little tappy tap tap tap. Go. Okay. Right, so we're going to have a go on this other Perkins block, uh, pushing out uh, one of the liners. So, uh, 
Oh, Fudd Weasel's just getting this all lined up here. And then uh, he's got a, you'll see, a couple of bits of kit. And then it'll allow him to fit the, uh, the press in properly and then push the liner out uh, in a controlled manner, allegedly. What have we got there? Oh, you got a thing in there, then. That... Oh, I see, yeah, like a blanking cap which fits directly onto the liner. And just down inside it. As and well. just down inside it so it can't slip. Yeah. And then. We have a little piece of. Uh... A light piece of bar here, All right. which sits on the top there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And we can just pull that over. Right. right. Let's just take up the slack. Right. Let's just have a quick look down inside. Make sure nothing has moved and we're not going to snag the edge of the block when the liner starts to move. Do that line up anymore or is that no, alright there? That's good. Is it? Okay. Let's just check underneath and make sure we're not pushing against it. Not touching cloth or anything? We are touching cloth, so Pretty good. we checked. Right. On, on a loop again. Yep. Right. I'm just going to stand to one side to do this. Okay. You can have a look and see how much force it takes to get that out. So this is number one. Oh, it's gone already. All right. So that was uh, just, over just, over five. just over five tons. Is that? Yep. Five tons of pressure, and that popped the liner. But well, that's number one. That's the one that's always the coolest. It's closest to the pump. Gets the best cooling. So it's, that is uh, really easy. To There's the liner coming out. And it's out. And it's out. It's like a grit old metallic tud. The crank's all in, liners are in. Camshaft is in. Camshaft is in. Yeah. Uh, the end float on the crankshaft has been done correctly. Okay. There's the two little on either side of the centre journal, there's a thrust washer. Yeah. You adjust the end float with different thickness of the thrust washer. Yep. This one is actually factory. Okay. That's, that's good, then. It's factory, that is. Yeah, that yeah. is factory, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, one thing that your readers will definitely be interested in. Readers? What, well, I've done a magazine, have I? Yeah, you like, you'd, you'd, Razzle. Yes, that's right. Okay, your, yeah. your viewers will be. Yeah is this block was originally put together with a rope seal crank. So I put it back together with a lip seal crank, which is a, just a lot easier to work with. Okay. Um, and the only difference is you put a different, you have, to, you have to put a different crank in and then it takes a different seal carrier on the back. Everything else blocks identical. So with, the, with these plastic gauges, this particular one, red, is from 0 0.051 to 0 0.152 millimeters. Right. Right. So the running clearance on number two journal right. there is from 0 0.06 to 0 0.14. Right. So it's in the range of this red one. Yeah. So we'll put a piece of red in there. Yeah. Uh, crank it down to torque. Yeah. And then we'll have a look and see what's happened to it. Okay. 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 So that's all it is. Just a very fine little piece of red plastic right which we are going to very carefully stick onto the crank shaft so it's just a snip it off that yep piece over there yeah so What's the torque setting on that? On this particular engine, it's 180 for these. 180 foot pounds? Yeah. Go on, give it some. Right, there's okay. one. Okay. Okay. Right, now we're going to back it off again. And hopefully now, 
this off. Right. And you can see on the shell, see it spread out. Okay, so we've got that one on there and that one on there. Now, using the handy dandy scale, right, side of the packet, yeah, we can measure the thickness of, of the spread. The splat. Yep. And that one is 0 0.102. Is between 0.76 and 0 0.102. Okay. That is dead in the middle of the scale. Factory spec. Is it? Yeah. Very good. So we'll do that with all of these, and uh, that will make sure we've got the clearances correct. But that should be. Can't imagine any of them going to be any different from that. But again, when you're done, you just pick it off. Right. Clean it up. Clean it off. Done. Give it a wipe over, squirt a bit of oil on there, and we're ready to go. Very good. So that's, I mean, I can, I can hear people already raising their eyebrows, and pulling their hair out, but... The noisy eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you do it, though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are just cranking down. If it turns still, good enough, isn't it? Yeah. And they're just, you know, but that is the factory way of doing it. But there's a reason why you need that much clearance. It's all to do. It's not just to do with with the thrust. It's also to do with oil circulation and maintaining exactly. oil pressure. Yeah. Right. Well, I think uh, you know it would probably been of interest to some of you, especially with the plastic gauges. Uh, it's amazing how many people have never seen those used before. Uh, but old Fud Weasel, give me his due. He is actually factory trained uh, by Perkins. So. Uh, you know, he's doing this. The whole point of this rebuild is he wanted to do one back, you know, as they were done to factory spec as such. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. Right, I want to say a big thank you to all of you as well. Uh, for those of you that uh, gave the last video a big uh, thumbs up, the old like, uh, to try and get the algorithm thing going. And I still haven't received any, so I can't tell you whether they said whether in a little box or a tray or anything like that. Somebody did mention that there's possibly some sort of Latin dance. Don't know. Um, but here's the thing, I, I still want to get a tray or box or bag or whatever they are of algorithms. Um, so I think we've got to push a little bit harder. So here's what we're going to do. Um, for every thousand likes this video gets, all right, um, what I'm going to do is I want to give away a sticker. So uh, if we can get to like 3,000 likes, we did really well last week, I think it was about 2,500. If we get to 3,000 likes for this video, let's give it the old thumbs up, the old like button, um, I'll pull out three names randomly off the subscription list. And um, yeah, and then I'll let you know in the next video who they are. And I'll send you uh, one of our stickers, which I'll find one on here, though. It's all organized. You know, you think this is bloody actually thought out. There you go. This is the new Lord Muck stickers. And we're going to uh, have these and some other stuff available very soon. But more about that in some upcoming videos. So, don't forget to give this video a like. As I said, every thousand, if we get to 2,000, I'll pull out two names. 3,000, I'll pull out three, four, or five, whatever. But as I said, we'll put the old, uh, all the subscribers' names into the random generator, which you can do on Google. Pull out names. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world. If your name comes up, and I tell you, and you just drop me a line, contact me, say, yep, and give me your details, I'll send it no matter where you are in the world. So, there you are. Now, I've been asked quite a lot recently, How exactly does the positive track rear end on the Plymouth work? It just does. Um, on Instagram, on the messengers there, and on Facebook Messenger, um, about when we make the videos uh, for, for the Lord Muck channel, uh, why, why do we do certain things or why do we do other things and that and how do we do this and how do we do that? So if there's enough interest um, from you like out there, I'll do a video of how we make a video for this channel. Uh, sort of like a behind the scenes thing. And I'll answer as many of the questions that, you know, the regular questions I get as we can as we're doing the video. I'll sort of, you know, pull a few of the questions up and um, I'll try and answer them and I'll show you how we go about doing a video, like when we do a will at start, you know, the stuff we have to do, because you don't obviously get to see everything. Um, there's a lot of prep before and, you know, and there's a lot of work after as well. Hi, man. What are you doing? 
I'm drinking wine and eating cheese and catching some rays, you know. Um, but if you're interested in seeing a, a behind the scenes uh, video about, about, you know, how we do stuff on this channel, put your, your old uh, comment, put it in, you know, sorry, in the squid pit below, in the old comment section. Just put in there, you know, yes, you'd like to see the, the behind the scenes video. And if it's enough interest, then, um, yeah, I'll do it. Right then, muggers, so don't forget, uh, give this video the old uh, thumbs up, the big like thing, because then that way, as I said, hopefully I'll get a try of algorithms. Um, or I might, as I said, get a free dance lesson. I'm still not sure. But whatever, I think that's going to be really exciting. And as I said, however many people, you know, uh, give it a thumbs up, every thousand I will pull out a name out of the subscribers list. So don't forget to do that. So there we are, muggers. Until the next one, do well.